Finland has become the 31st member of the NATO Security Alliance, doubling the length of member states' borders with Russia. U.S. President Joe Biden welcomed Finland officially joining the NATO alliance as its newest member. Biden, in a statement, said, Today I am proud to welcome Finland as NATO's 31st ally. The president said, 74 years ago today, as the United States and 11 other nations came together to form the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, President Truman said, if there is anything inevitable in the future, it is the will of the people of the world for freedom and for peace. Today that will is stronger than ever with the addition of Finland to NATO. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Finland joining NATO is the biggest fallout of the Ukraine invasion for Russia. Let's get started. This is NATO's ninth enlargement since its founding in 1949. It will fundamentally transform European security, adding 830 miles or 1,335 kilometers of border with Russia along the Finnish frontier. Helsinki now has the protection of NATO's Article 5, which says an attack on one member is an attack on all. In effect, it means if Finland were invaded or attacked, all NATO members, including the US, would come to its aid. With Finland joining, NATO will be at Russia's doorstep. The move ended decades of military non-alliance by the country. Before the war in Ukraine, the likelihood of Finland joining NATO was extremely low. The population didn't support the idea. Viewers may note that Finland remained neutral during the Cold War and after joining the European Union in 1995. Russia's invasion prompted a surge in Finnish public opinion towards joining NATO to 80% in favor. The lawmakers' decision to join NATO was also overwhelming. Finnish MPs voted 184 in favor of accepting the NATO treaties, with seven against and one abstaining. Finland has already taken some steps that clearly define the mood. At a cost of approximately 380 million euros, or 338 million pounds, Finland intends to construct 200 kilometers, or 125 miles of fencing, along its border with Russia. The fencing will be 3 meters, or 10 feet, tall and topped with barbed wire, while especially sensitive regions will feature night vision cameras, lights and loudspeakers. According to the Border Guard of Finland, the pilot fence spanning 3 kilometers, or 1.85 miles, along the southeastern border, crossing in Imatra, is set to be finished by June's end. Additionally, approximately 70 kilometers, or 43 miles of fencing, is planned to be constructed mainly in southeastern Finland before 2025. Finland is situated in a crucial position. The strategic location of Finland also offers NATO influence over the waters which Russia uses to ferry vessels from its Baltic fleet between St. Petersburg and the Russian enclave of Kaliningrad. Now all Baltic fleet and northern fleet bases of Russia are well within NATO missile range. Finland would also give the alliance an advantage in Arctic water. Viewers may note that as the ice caps melt in the Arctic, it will become economically viable to navigate, and Russia is gearing up to monetize the potentially lucrative northern sea route NSR. Finland is one of the most combat-ready armies in Europe. Minna Alander, a researcher at the Finnish Institute of International Relations, quoted by AFP, said, The country still remembers the events of 1939 to 1940 when the Soviet Union attacked Finland and eventually seized a part of its territory. That's why they never stopped preparing for a possible war. Unlike the vast majority of other Western countries, Finland's military conscription remains high and defense spending has remained quite high even after the collapse of the Soviet Union, 2.2% of GDP in 2021. 
Finland has a defense budget of $6.3 billion and has been aligning its military to meet NATO standards for some time. The Finnish Defense Forces employ a relatively modest 12,000 active troops from a population of 5.5 million. However, it has an estimated 280,000 reservists capable of fighting in wartime. In an emergency situation, a total of 900,000 Finnish reservists can be mobilized. From Leopard 2 main battle tank to having one of the strongest artillery systems in Europe with 1,000 pieces and possessing several kinds of air defense systems, which include NASAMS 2, Finland's ground forces are pretty formidable. Add to this lethal aerial platforms it has that include 55 FA-18C Hornets. The country has an inventory of more than 600 AIM-9 Sidewinder and more than 700 AIM-120 AMRAAM for air-to-air -air rolls. It also has a decent number of AGM-158A JASSM and AGM-154C JSOW air-to-surface missiles and different types of general purpose bombs like GBU-31, 32 and 38. Importantly, it will begin phasing in the F-35A from 2027 onwards. In terms of its advantages at sea, Finland's navy consists of a small but potent force, including a fleet of fast missile attack craft and mine hunting and mine laying vessels. These are well suited to its long island dotted coastline which lies just hours away from St. Petersburg. Fast attack craft include four Hamana class crafts and four Rama class crafts. It also has several offensive weapons that include infantry carried Spike ER coastal missiles, MTO 85M anti ship missiles that are truck mounted, and coastal artillery, both fixed and mobile. Finland's accession is surely a setback for Russia's Vladimir Putin. He had repeatedly complained about NATO's expansion before his full-scale invasion of Ukraine, and this is exactly what's happened. Putin invaded Ukraine with one of the stated aims being to move NATO further away from Russia, but ended up with Finland joining it and doubling its border with the alliance. Putin previously downplayed the significance of Finland becoming part of the alliance. He said at the time that Finland joining NATO didn't pose an immediate threat to Russia. But it's now sinking in. Now that the deal's completed, the Kremlin is altering its tone and cautioning Finland that Russia will need to take unspecified measures in response. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov told reporters at a press briefing per the Moscow Times, naturally this forces us to take countermeasures to ensure our own tactical and strategic security. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.